Developing tonight, Tampa City Councilman Orlando Goods now facing a lawsuit over allegations of sexual harassment. This is Night's Item, Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. That lawsuit comes just months after Goods gave office chairman status over a city investigation into allegations made by a former aide. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo is at City Hall tonight. Angie, the lawsuit was just filed today. Filed by the former aide for herself and on behalf of her daughter, that is making many of the same allegations made during the city's investigation. The aide claims the councilman refused to discuss community issues with local activists and leaders in his district who were not providing him sexual favors. She also claims he sexually harassed her and others, including sniffing toward her private area, making comments about her daughter's breasts, making homophobic comments about the mayor, and comments about the aide's clothes. The city hired a third party to investigate these claims, and in March, the Trenum Law Legal Team found 18 of the 19 initial allegations were likely to be credible. The investigation cost taxpayers nearly $100,000. And despite the report, Goos denied all the allegations in a statement saying, quote, while I disagree with the entirety of the findings in the report regarding my former legislative aide, I do accept responsibility for comments that I made that while not sexual harassment, were not appropriate for the workplace. He echoed that message while stepping down as chairman. Everyone has their day and, and, and their day to be vindicated. Uh, I'm waiting for that day and that day will, will, will happen. Now, Councilman Goods is still serving District 5 despite stepping down as chair. The legislative aide is asking court for more than $30,000 in damages tonight as well.